Hello and welcome to Infinity. In our series on putting a border around a picture, um, this is now a really easy method, uh, and that's using the effects. You've got a little tab up there, you could use this, but uh, an easier one is to go in the layer here. You've got a layer effects, an FX, and then you can pick the ones from here and so on, or you can pick the outline. For this, you need both the thing checked and it selected. So if I'm up here, I'm looking at this one, but not this one. So this gives me access to the controls. So blend mode, you can set blends, opacity, uh, those usual sort of stuff. Radius is the key thing, because that sets how wide the border is. Alignment, if it's outside, it's going to be outside. Sort of, so you won't see it normally. You have to expand the canvas to see it. Well, so let's go to inside. Fill style uh, is solid color at the moment. We might play with that later. And color. And you can set your color, usual sort of way, all the choices. Or you can use the picker here. You can drag this over and say, let's use the color of the carpet and the, and the shade there. Then to make that, that puts it into the circle. Click the circle and it sets it up here. Nothing here yet because we haven't set the radius. So we'll turn up the radius and you'll see here the rad the border appearing around the outside. Uh, it's It goes up to 100 here, but you can make it go higher as a lot of these things by typing in a number up to a thousand or so. So that gives us a very quick and simple way of doing a border inside. Uh, you can also with this, let's have a look at these fill styles. What if I do a contour one? Oh look, look at this, isn't that nice? I've got a gradient on it and I can go and set the gradient so I could change the colors on this. So if I select that, select the color again, oh I could do that. Well, no, let's do the blue seats here. And there you go. We've set the, the gradient on that to sort of harmonize with the picture itself. We've even got a mitered corner on it. With uh, the other one, gradient, see it goes across the picture. See it starts here. So you've got a gradient, but it's literally on the, the thing on the outside. Um, let's just put it back to solid for a moment so you can see what's happening. And that is, if I use the crop tool just to expand the canvas a bit. Like that first, that's it. There we go. Now if I change the alignment to center, it goes sort of halfway out. And notice you're getting in rounded corners now change it to outside, it goes all the way. So you've got your original picture now. You've got this around the outside and you can then pull this in again by whatever way you like and apply that. But you've got the corners here that you're also then going to deal with. Something else you can do here is, if I turn that off, is it's useful in things like when you're placing images. So file place and let's say put a little picture of a house here. Say yes to stuff like that. And there we go. So I wanted to put that on and I can drag that round. And now I can do the FX on that. I can set the outline, I can set the colour, make that white to make it stand out a bit more, and just turn up the radius. There we go. So that kind of thing, you can also do it on shapes if you're doing rectangles and so on. I could easily just put on an outline on that. There we go. So you can see it's quite easy to use, very quick, very easy, particularly using the basic things, but you've got the flexibility of inside, outside and so on. Anyway, that's enough for now and thank you very much for watching.